There are always opportunities in every adversity. There are always opportunities in every adversity. Are you seeing these opportunities? That's what this video is all about. I want to help you see more opportunities and take those opportunities. Yes, that's what I want to talk about because I'm feeling happy and I'm feeling energetic, but I see so many people around me being negative and moody and, and I, want to, I want it to be just like the old days and when is this going to end and all of... Well, why? Why? There's so many good things going on. There's so many things you can change right now. Make sure you stay until the end because I have two gifts for you at the end of this video. But let's dive right in. There are two things. There are two things that you can do in times of crisis. One is sit back and wait. Wait until it all passes by. Wait and do nothing. Wait and gain a lot of Corona fat and binge watch Netflix, TV, movies. I don't know. Do nothing. Eat. Uh, criticize. Be negative. It will lead to depression, could lead to depression, being sad and negative all the time. And it's just like a snowball effect. And you just get more and more and more negative because you just want it to be like the old times. That's one way to deal with it. But number two, the other way to deal with it is seeing the opportunities. Be proactive and actually do something that will help you for when everything is gone and passed and over with, you will be there with a ton of new ideas and new things that you created in this time today. Because right now there's a ton of things that you can do instead of sitting back. If you want to, of course, it's your choice. I respect everyone's choice. If you want to sit back and do nothing, fine by me. But if you want to grow and do something different and see opportunities, then continue to listen. So what are the things you can do? Be creative. Now more than ever, it's the perfect time to do all the things that you kept saying, I don't have time and I, I will do it one day, but I can't do it now and I don't have time and all this work and I'm never home. Well, now you are. You are. So what are those things that you've always wanted to do and that you didn't have time? What if you wanted to start a business, but you have to make a plan and you have to fill out a strategy and come up with these things and you just never had this, this time to really be creative. Now is that time. What about if you have a shop, a shop with products, a shop with selling clothes or, or, or being a hairdresser or selling hair products, or you have a restaurant, what can you do right now? Because your shop is closed. Well, you could showcase it. You can go online, you can make videos, you can do Facebook lives, you can do YouTube videos, you can do so many things so you can show people, hey guys, this is what I do, this is what I sell. If they are products, then show them, make videos from them so that when the crisis is over, people know you because you've been online all the time showcasing your products and you can, and they will stand in line in front of your shop because it's like, oh my gosh, the moment your shop is back open, we're going to come. Same thing for restaurants, same thing for hairdressers. Why don't you give tutorials? Why don't you show how you cook, how you, how you cut, how you, you know, what you do, some techniques, some skills that you have. Make videos, do, press that like button. If it doesn't look great at the beginning, so what? Learn from it. This is the opportunity of learning. You can learn because you have time, you have to isolate. You can learn by doing. So many people are already doing it. Don't stand back and wait and do nothing because then people will not remember you. People will not find you. But if you show yourself, maybe write, maybe take pictures. If you don't want to do videos, post a lot of pictures of your products, your services, your shop. Be creative. Be creative, but be there. Make yourself visible. If you're an entrepreneur, make yourself visible so that people can find you. Um, let's see, what else do I have? Uh, products, workshops. If you're a trainer and you're doing or you're teaching offline and, and, and it's canceled, right? How about doing it online? I'm also teaching at university and it's like it was a panic mode the first week because, oh my gosh, now we can't teach? Yes, of course we can. We can take everything online. And I'm actually super happy because I was already doing everything online. So now the whole university is doing it online and teaching online and it's working. 
If you have workshops, do it webinars online. Teaching, everything can be done online in group. There's so many, there's Microsoft Teams, there's Zoom, there's WebEx, there's webinar. There's so many ways you can do it. Learn, learn and do it. But don't sit back, be innovative. Don't sit back and wait, but be innovative and just go out there, do it and get your money for it, right? So if you have skills, show it. And if you want to start a business or a service that you're not mastering yet and that you still have to learn some things, well, now is the time. It's the time to learn. You can take courses online and everything. So master a skill. If you want to take a business and grow your business online, now is the time to start learning how to do the audio, the video or whatever skill you need. Then when this is all over with, you can launch it and start it because you've been learning all this time. Don't sit back, you guys. Don't do it. So show yourself. Make your visible. Um, make yourself visible. Sorry about that. What else can you do? Um, change your mindset. Shift your mindset. If there's some negativity in your mind, shift it. Make it a practice because I can understand if you have a nine to five or a career and you're successful and you're always so busy and you just, you don't really pay attention to all of these things. Now is the time to pay attention to your mindset, your thoughts, because no matter what you want to change in your life, and that's, that's how I help my clients and my people, you know, like change something, change and quit that nine to five and quit that corporate, but just do something that you love, but you have to shift your mindset. You have to shift from negative to positive. Instead of I can't and I'm worried and I'm scared and this is never going to end, I can and I'm calm and I can make this. And there's too many people and I'm too old and it's too late for me. It's never too late and I'm not alone. And even if there's many other people doing this, I can do it too. Okay? You can. Look, I started YouTube last year and I thought, oh, there's so many YouTubers out there and, and, and who am I and who will watch my videos? But I'm started, consistent, growing. Same thing for my business. Started, consistent, growing, and it's flowing. And it's wonderful. But you have to do it and stop that mindset of I can't and I'm not good enough and all of that. And the moment I really started shifting my mindset and really focusing on, wait, well, what am I telling myself here? Yeah, I can do it and so can you. So shift your mindset. The last thing I want to mention is meditation. And no, I'm not a woo-woo spiritual guru. No, no, I'm not. But this is the time more than ever to take time for self-care and self-love. And with meditation, I don't mean to cross your legs and stare at a candle. No, I mean take time to quiet that busy, busy mind. Quiet your mind and go deep into yourself and take some breath and know what your path is. The more you quiet your mind and you quiet the noise around you, the more you will go into yourself and know what your direction is in life, what your purpose is, what your next step is. What did you come to the world for? What is the life that you want to live without regrets? Instead of doing what everybody's telling you to do, what is it that you want to do? And you can find that out by quieting your mind. So some type of form of meditation, whether you sit still, you lay down, you listen to some music, you go out in nature and take a walk. Everybody's different, but take that time for yourself now more than ever. Okay, so I want you to see opportunities, be creative get some clarity, get going and create things that when all of this crisis is over, you can say, yes, I've used my time wisely. I didn't sit back and look what I've made right now. That's what I want from you. I really want that for you. I want to see growth. I want you to succeed. I want you to do what you love because that's what I do. And I want to help my clients and my people doing what they love. And you can. Now is the time more than ever to do that. And so the two gifts I was mentioning to you are this. One is, if you're still struggling with limiting beliefs and negative thoughts, but I can't and I'm not good enough and why me and I'm not too, and I'm too old and I'm this and I'm that and all of that and what will other people say? I have a cheat sheet, a free cheat sheet. I'll put the link right below that you can download and it will shift your mindset and it's necessary. It's really, really necessary. If you want to grow and succeed, you need to shift your mindset. 
And the second and biggest gift that I have for you is if you're still overwhelmed and you don't know what to do with all these ideas in your mind, or you're still stuck thinking, I can't, I'm too old, and then everybody else is doing it, so who would look at me and, and, and what's in there for me? And then please, let's talk. I'm giving free complimentary coaching sessions and I'm happy, happy to help you because if there's one thing I love is getting people unstuck in, in loads of ideas or, or, or seeing clarity in, in a path, in a direction, right? You want to create a life without regrets. You want to create a life, not a living. So start today. Click the button, ask me, message me, comment. And I want to hear from you because yes, this will pass. And we're all in this together. But if you're smart, then you are creating new things. And I'm looking out for you, cheering you on. See you in the next video.